Well, the valley is wrapping up one of the hottest months on record. First Warren 5 meteorologist Cecilia Gutierrez has more on the records that were shattered. It was felt almost every day throughout the valley. It feels like more when you open an oven. That's how it feels like. Raul Espinosa spends most of his day outside. He says he's prepared more for being outside this summer. It's hot. Gotta stay hydrated. Espinosa also doesn't remember a summer feeling like this in his more than 20 years of living in the valley. More humid for sure. That's because this summer's heat broke more than one record. The departure from the prior record, not average, but the prior record will be about one and a half degrees. Goldsmith says that's like a racehorse winning the Kentucky Derby by 20 lengths. August tends to be the hottest month of the year on average in the Rio Grande Valley and in Texas as a whole. These values are breaking the all-time calendar month record for both of those sites. Here's why. The high pressure system that parks itself over West Texas, Eastern New Mexico, and then suppresses every bit of rain and provides as much heat as possible. We've had that pattern that should start to fade a little bit in mid-August, hold steady right on through the end of the month. And those heat advisories, they were made to have three or four issued a summer. Heat advisory means that we issue on the feels like temperature of 111 to about 115. This summer we've issued more than two dozen. Goldsmith says the constant southeasterly flow off of the Gulf didn't help. They brought in more Gulf moisture, making it more humid. There is hope an increase in rain chances will keep temperatures in the 90s this upcoming week. Goldsmith says this August will go in the record books. In Westlake, Cecilia Gutierrez, Channel 5 News, this weekend.